Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is Claudio and today I'm going to show you how to make the healthiest falafel ever. For this recipe I'm going to use 250 grams of dried chickpeas which I soaked in water overnight, a bunch of dill, a bunch of parsley. If you prefer coriander you can substitute one of these two fresh herbs whereas the original recipe requires one medium-sized onion, half a teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cumin, five cloves of garlic and 30 grams of oat flour. If you don't have oat flour, I will show you in a second how to make it. Also, you can use regular flour if you prefer to. Before mixing the ingredients, I'm going to preheat the oven at 200 degrees. Now I'm going to add half of the ingredients in a big bowl and the other half I'm going to add it later on. Give this a quick stir. Now I'm going to add this mixture into a food processor and because the one that I have is quite small I'll have to do this in two separate stages. From time to time you might need to stop the food processor and scrape down the sides and you will need to repeat this a couple of times until it gets to a coarse sand texture which I'm going to show you in a minute If your food processor is big enough, you can do this all in one go. Now it's time to add the spices. And give this a quick stir before adding the flour. For the moment I'm going to add just a tablespoon of flour, mix this well because the mixture was too wet I had to add one more tablespoon of old flour. Also, if it's too dry, you can add a little bit of water. Grab a baking tray and line some parchment paper on it. Now it's time to form the falafel balls and I like to do it a little bit flat at the top and at the bottom. Feel free to form this in whatever shape you like. If you want to do uh, perfect round balls, you can even use a cookie scoop. Because I'm not going to fry this in a pan and I'm going to bake them in the oven, I'm just going to brush the falafel with some extra virgin olive oil just so we can get that nice and golden color and the crispiness on the outside. Now I'm going to place the baking tray on the top rack of the oven for about 18 minutes at 200 degrees. A few moments later. Okay, 18 minutes have passed now and the falafels are ready to flip on the other side. Just be very careful when you take the baking tray out because it's very hot. This is how the falafel should look like before flipping them over. Don't worry if it's not that dark golden color yet because they will continue to cook on the other side. Before placing this back into the oven, I'm going to brush also this side with some extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm going to leave this again in the oven for another 15 minutes. 15 minutes later. Oh, 
Okay, our falafel is cooked now and this is how it looks like at the end. Before starting to eat them, I'm going to let this to cool on the cooling rack for about 5 minutes. The falafel is ready to eat now and feel free to have this with hummus or with tahini or with a salad or in a falafel wrap, however you like it. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you'll find this helpful and I will see you in the next one. Cheers!